Hi friends, have a nice day. Let's check how can we control a DC motor using motor driver IC L293D with the help of the simulation in Proteus. First we have to add the component L293 add this device then for controlling this uh, we can add some switches, switches. we can use uh, single pole double trigger SPDT sorry SPDT switches okay now let's include this device into the working area there's some next uh, include the six before that I just wrote it so okay we have to rotate it rotate it then include first one second one first switch we are connected to input one second switch we are connecting to input 2 here is a pin enable enable is active high so we we haven't given any input it takes us active high and it will be enabled for disabling it we have to give a ground point to this pin okay now the power point we are giving power here VST, VST is the motor supply actually if we can give the same supply to both or else we can give different supplies then ground point is here There is two motor driver controller so this is the first section this is the first section and uh, this is the out this is the first section this is the output section this is second section and this is the output for the second section that's why we have two ground points here okay now we have to give VCC and ground to the switch then only we can trigger between VCC and ground okay let's connect the top end of both switches to VCC bottom end to ground okay now give the supply voltage choy choy volt okay fine oh we have forgot the main thing we want to control the DC motor so for including DC motor just type DC motor here and add to the simple DC motor select the simple DC motor and add to our workspace by clicking here I just connect this pin to this point and 
let's do that. Next point, okay. Just try running it. We're simulating for simulating this fly button how to be so the power supply is best way for natural volt power right configuration so we have to change the voltage to 5 volt okay awesome. just delete this power supply and add another one select the power the default one is 5 volt so we don't want to give the separate voltage now running it okay we are giving here see this pin 0 this pin 0 so the motor won't run if we are giving 0 1 which is running in anti clockwise direction. If you are giving 1 0, the motor will run in clockwise direction. Okay. Now, if we are giving both high, that means 1 1 situation, the motor will stick. 0 1 means anti clockwise 1 0 means clockwise okay let's see the mode of operation of this motor driver so we can see that if we give the enable switch high that means if we haven't connected any any pin to uh, the enable pin it takes us high if we if we give low low to the enable pin and uh, the selection pins that means the input pins both are in any condition the motor will not work in the enable high condition if we are giving the first input high and the second input high then the motor will in the brake situation that means it won't rotate if you are giving the both inputs in low condition that means the motor will continue in the same no rotation situation then if you are giving the first input high and second input low the motor in motor will rotate in the clockwise direction and if you are giving the first input low and second input high the motor will rotate in anti clockwise direction okay let's see one more by running it so we are we have given first input 1 and second input 0 that's why the motor will rotate in clockwise direction and if we are giving the first input 0 and second input 1 the motor will rotate in the anti-clockwise direction okay now if we want to add another motor we can include that motor in this area and connect to the 11 and 14th pin the control pins for that particular motor will be 10 and 15 this will be the input pins that means uh, mode control and the enable pin is the 9 if we are giving 0 to the 9 if uh, any input will be in we have given in 10 and 15 the motor will won't work for working the motor we have to give enable high and uh, the input of 10 and 15 should be opposite 
okay that's all thank you